Hi everyone, this is Melanie from Counting Crafty Sheep and I am going to show you how to make upcycled tasseled jean shorts today using crochet. We are using Darn Good Yarns Silk Blend Sport Weight Yarn 8020 rule. Uh, this yarn is made entirely out of recycled silk saris. As you can see, it's gorgeous. So everything you see right here is exactly what you're going to need to add this decorative edging to your shorts. So let's dive in. We want to get rid of this hemmed area right here and cut it off right above the seam here, okay? And you just kind of want to make sure you're doing it sort of evenly. And as you get to the inseam, make sure that you're leaving enough for the shorts to still be wearable, okay? So what we're gonna do is take our darning needle, go about a, roughly a centimeter from the edge of your jeans right here, okay? And you're just gonna press and pass the darning needle all the way through, is take our hook, insert it from the outside in, grab our yarn and we are going to just pull up a loop okay so you're going to pull your stitches up to the edge of the pant leg right here okay so we pulled up our loop we're just going to fasten it by pulling it through and we are going to do three chains so what we're doing now is making the base for the rest of the pants. So all I'm doing right now is just a simple simple chain stitch. We're going to take our needle, pass it through about a centimeter from our first stitch. The hook fell out, but that's okay. Pop it in, okay? And then we're just going to insert the hook like that, pull up another loop, and pull through both loops on the hook. So you can see then our chain three becomes the base that we're going to use to work the second round of the jeans. So we've joined and slipped here. So we're going to yarn over, go skip this first stitch, go into the next, do a double crochet. And then we're gonna go back to that first one we skipped. We're reaching behind and going in and doing another double. And that gives you this nice little cross here. Okay. Now normally you would skip and go into the next stitch, but that's not what we're gonna do. We are going to continue around always working the second stitch in the one we worked previously. So that gives us a little bit more strength to uh, the second round here. To start uh, what I'm calling the crochet tassel, tassel stitch, what you're going to do is you're going to insert your hook into the space and pull up a loop, okay? And you're just going to have a slip stitch. Now on this first one, we're gonna have two because we were joining from the previous round, but for the remaining ones, you're only gonna have one loop that you have to pull through. And you're gonna pull up the thread so that it's about yeah, an inch, I'd say. You're gonna keep that long and you're gonna keep your hook on it. You're gonna reinsert your hook and you're gonna pull up another loop that's about an inch long. Once you've got the two loops, you're going to take your working yarn here and you're just gonna wrap it around so that it kind of cinches it right there. We're gonna do that each time we pull up another loop, just to make sure that when we cut it, our tassel doesn't come apart. So you can do this as many times as you'd like for a thicker or a thinner tassel. I have done it so that I end up having uh, six tassel loops on my hook when I finish. So I need to do one. So I've got, let's see, that was four. So this is my fifth loop. And here is, whoops, here we go, my sixth loop. Okay, 
So once you pull up your six loops and you've done that, that little wrap right there, oops, I'm losing my, okay. You're gonna wrap it around an additional four or five times. So we're gonna go one and just kind of give it a little tug so that it stays down towards the bottom. Two, three, four, Ooh, got a little high there, and we'll do five, okay? So that gives you the bottom of your tassel, right? See how that looks there? You're gonna take your hook out completely, kind of pinch it so that it doesn't all come unraveled, and then go to the next side of your X, and we're just gonna repeat the process. You're gonna insert your hook, you're gonna pull up a little loop and do a little, little chain there, a little slip stitch sort of chain, and you're just gonna extend that up so that it's about an inch long. You can see that when we wrapped it, it got a little bit shorter. So, and once we finish, we'll clip them all, but just to give you an idea of how it's going to look, you wanna make sure that obviously that it's fastened before you cut any of them. So we're gonna cut them at the end, but see that how that makes a nice little tassel, All right? Voila, all you have to do is just take your darning needle, weave in your ends. And you're all set. I hope you enjoyed it and love your new upcycled tassel fringe shorts. Thanks for watching.